Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman and Lucy Lehman and today I want to show you how to prolong some of your peony blooms as they're coming up in your garden. So if we haven't met yet, it's nice to meet you. My name is Kelly Lehman. I'm the owner of Cranberry Fields Flower Farm here in Cranberry, New Jersey and I love giving you guys fun free flower tips. So please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell notification so you know whenever we post another fun free flower tip video. So let's dive right in. So I love peonies. Peonies are one of my absolute favorite flowers to grow here on the flower farm. And we've got rows and rows of them. They are the number one hit with my customers and definitely the number one hit uh, when it comes to events and bridal parties. So I'm gonna show you what to do though when you have peonies growing in your garden and it's gonna be like super hot and you know that all of those blooms are gonna open at the same time, but you might want to save some of those blooms to put in arrangements a few weeks later. So this is what we do here at the flower farm. We come out and we take a look at some of the blooms that are in what I call the marshmallow stage. So those are the blooms that are kind of super squishy to the touch. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to give it like a very gentle squeeze. And as I'm squeezing in, I could tell it's pretty soft. So this is a perfect marshmallow stage bloom. I wanted to show you this is my favorite marshmallow stage to cut at when I'm doing this dry cut method. Because basically it's not quite blown open just yet, but it's still squishy but most of the petals still haven't quite emerged a lot just yet so if you can even cut them at this stage where it's still slightly squishy this is like the best dry cut method stage to cut it at so if you were to come into one of these blooms and it looks more like this this is a little bit too tight so this is kind of more like that marble stage and when I go to come in here and squeeze it it's very hard so this is not a good stage to do this method with because this bloom if you were to cut it right now it's probably not going to open up at all because it's not quite mature enough and if you have a bloom that's fully blown open it's kind of past its stage for this little trick so the marshmallow stage is best and what I'm going to do is just come in here and give it a little bit of a clip I always make sure that I leave a few sets of my peony leaves in place because this plant needs to feed itself so that it will come back next year so never cut a peony bloom all the way at the base of the plant because you're going to wind up cutting off its like food source because it needs to use that the green leaves for photosynthesis I'm gonna wind up giving it a cut uh, right about here and this way I know I have at least two or three sets of leaves left on the plant probably even more than that and I'm gonna strip off the leaves and here's the thing guys these little ones are probably not going to open because they're super tight so you have a choice you can either leave them on the stem I usually cut them off because sometimes they look really really cute and like a little mini arrangement surrounded by open peonies so sometimes it's almost like a little added interest point so I'll have like three open peonies and then maybe four or five of these guys just kind of scattered throughout and they look really cool and every now and then I'll get really uh, lucky and sometimes one or two of these will open up so I'm basically just going to cut these off but I'm going to hold on to them take off the rest of these leaves because the leaves have a lot of moisture on them. So you want to make sure you don't have that added moisture as it's going to go in the refrigerator. And guys, this is really important. You're going to make sure that you don't plunge this stem into water right now. So this is called the dry cut method. And this stem is going to stay completely dry during this process until we're ready to have it bloom a few weeks from now. Then it's also important that you do your cutting early morning. So you want to make sure that you don't go out there and cut these peonies in the heat of the day when they're exhausted and they might be dehydrated. So now we're going to take a walk over to the flower shop and I'm going to show you the next steps for this. Uh oh, I'm losing my partner in crime over here. Okay, <laughs> okay let's go take a walk over to the, the flower shop. Come on, Lucy, you can come with us. Okay, so right now I have just a piece of brown craft paper on this table, and you can use either craft paper or newspaper, if you can even find a newspaper these days. I know everything's so digital. Any kind of like paper that's going to just, you know, kind of protect it, because we're gonna wind up wrapping these dry stems up. So once again, guys, these stems have not touched any water. They're completely dry. This is called the dry cut method. And what I'm gonna do is now uh, that I have these in my little shop, I'm gonna wind up stripping off the rest of the leaves now. It's easier to do the little guys in here. The big leaves I like to get rid of in the field just cause it's less cleanup. And now is when I'm gonna get rid of some of these little side shoots. And I'll kind of put them in something like this. So I'll just put them in the glass of water. But this is kind of fun cause it's got like little holes in the top like chicken wire. I'm also gonna get in here a little bit tighter and get rid of some of these stems. Cause sometimes these stems, they wind up getting tangled in each other. And then it's super hard to untangle them when they're in that little bouquet when you take them out. Out. So we're going to make it kind of streamlined and we'll do the same with all of these. 
So now we're in here, we've stripped off the leaves, we've stripped off the side shoots, we made sure that the stems didn't touch any water, and now we have them kind of lined up. They're a little bit spaced out. We've got the taller stems. Uh, the flowers that have the taller stems are kind of, you know, on the top. And then we've got some of the shorter stem ones placed in between, and we've got a little bit of space between them. And basically what I'm going to do is just fold up the paper towards the bottom. I'm going to cover the stems completely. Okay, I'm going to cover them. And I'm just going to give it like a little bit of a wrap, almost like a little bit of a, like a baby's diaper, like a little baby swaddling. I'm doing this kind of loose because I want to have a little bit of airflow. I'm not going to have them all bunched together. And also, I wanted you to know that none of these leaves are wet. Sometimes you'll come out here early morning and there's still some dew on them. So if that's the case, let them kind of dry out a little bit first because you don't want to have moisture trapped inside here because that's going to cause mildew on the flowers. So make sure that all these flowers are super dry, especially if there's been a rainstorm also. So super dry for this dry cut method. I'm going to continue to wrap it, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of tape. A little tape, a little bit of tape. I'm going to close the top. Doing this all very gentle so that I don't damage those flowers. And then I'm just going to put the date on it. Because what happens is a lot of times we'll have a load of these peonies coming in and out of the shop and we'll do the dry cut method, say like on May 23rd, and then we'll do another batch on the 24th and the 25th and the 26th. And when it comes time for me to start unwrapping these for arrangements, I want to know when they were, you know, put in the refrigerator because then I'm going to know what order to take them out. So once we have them wrapped up, now I'm just going to put them in a refrigerator. And guys, I have like a floral refrigerator, so I have a lot of space in there. I know most people don't have a floral refrigerator, but before I had the floral one for the shop, I used to just put them in my regular refrigerator. So um, you can make your bouquets much smaller if you like. I realize most people don't have like a giant shelf to put them on like that. So you can cut the stems shorter and just make sure that you don't put them near any fruits or vegetables because fruits and vegetables give off off a gas that flowers don't love and sometimes it'll cause them to like bloom prematurely and so just keep them away from you know those those things and also make sure that you don't have a refrigerator that kind of um, defrosts by itself I used to have an older refrigerator and sometimes it would be a clunker and it would go into like like a super cold mode and then it would be like you know then it would kind of defrost itself and then the temperatures would swing crazy so make sure that you know you don't have one of those that does that crazy defrost <laughs> thing when you don't want it to and basically we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator and I've actually had peonies that I've put in my refrigerator and I've taken out like five or six weeks later and the blooms were still beautiful but just to be safe usually with the dry cut method they say that the blooms will last for like at least like you know two or three weeks so that's usually the rule of thumb two or three weeks if you know that you're having an event and they have to be perfect I don't know even give yourself like one or two weeks before you take them back out but I've had mine last a super long time so we're going to pop them in the refrigerator and I'm just going to lay them down and that's it. When you're ready to take them out and have them bloom, you're just going to take them out of the fridge. You're going to unwrap it and you're going to give it a fresh cut on the bottom. I usually come up about an inch or two on that stem. I'll give it a diagonal cut because now you're going to have maximum water absorption when you do a diagonal cut. And I'm going to place it in some fresh water. And I've already have, I already have some uh, fresh greens in here because I'm going to build up my arrangement while I'm kind of placing these in the fresh water. So they go right in the fresh water and within about a day or two, they're going to start opening up and they're going to start to look more like this stage first. This guy here is probably what it's going to look like in a couple hours or depending on how warm it is because the warmer it is, the faster they're going to blow open. And then eventually, maybe in about two days, it'll start looking like this and then you're going to have a full blown open peony in just a couple days. Once again, if it's super hot out, this bloom might actually open up on day one. So, you know, you have to kind of know your audience. You have to kind of judge what the weather's like by you. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the rest of these. And I'm going to place them all 
inside this arrangement and I'm gonna make a gorgeous arrangement. If you decide that you don't need all the blooms that you just took out of the refrigerator and you only wanna use say half of them, that's okay. So you can just put a few of them in your bouquet and these guys can go back in the fridge as long as the tips you know, weren't like submerged in water. So these are still dry, uh, they came out on the counter, I decided I'm only gonna use two. I can re-wrap these because they're still chilled and I can put them back in the fridge uh, for another couple days in case you don't want to use them all in one shot. Or you can also just, you know, make them in smaller bundles when you store them in your refrigerator. So thank you so much for joining me in this video and please feel free to say hi to us over on my Cranberry Fields Instagram page and also on my Kelly Lehman's Flower Tribe Facebook group because there's thousands of gardeners from all over the world and they're asking and answering tons of garden questions there each week. Please also check out my brand new podcast because a lot of you have asked me for short, simple garden tips on podcasts and you asked for it, you got it. And all of these are in links below and also please let let me know where you're viewing this from in this great big beautiful world because I'd love to see how our flower tribe is growing around the globe each week and check out my new online flower courses where I teach you how to grow amazing flowers in your own backyards and then I show you how to make them into beautiful arrangements that you can gift to others or keep for yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman and Lucy Lehman and today I want to show you how to prolong your peonies <laughs> in your garden. In your, in your gardens. My husband always says that I'm a night farmer because I love being outside when it's like dusk out, uh, but I'm, gonna, I'm talking too much, so let's just, um, I've got my beer in there and flowers. So thank you so much for joining me in this, because video is a tough word. Mm -hmm.